Good morning, noon or night everyone, depending on when you're watching this. Welcome to The Saboteur. Now, this is a game that came out in 2009, and uh, I got it pretty quickly when it came out, and I played the hell out of it. But saying that, I've not played it since. Um, essentially, a little bit of backstory, you play as an uh, Irishman, uh, Sean, who is in uh, Paris during World War II, and the Nazis have taken over, and essentially... You take it upon yourself to get rid of them, essentially. So we're just gonna get started with a uh, new game, and we'll go for normal. Just a warning. This may get a little bit uh, explicit. Oh yeah, this is where we live, by the way. This is your uh, headquarters. This a burlesque house, I guess you'd call it. I, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, uh, you may be seeing a lot of this. Sorry. And there we are. I'm not looking for company. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is, how many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? Ah, you're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some line drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us! You can't escape it! You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours! Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. Okay, so this is us. We play as uh, Sean, the Irishman, and we're in a. Uh, ah, that's right. The, the uh, place is called the Bell, uh, which is basically a brothel of sorts. Um, <coughs> but <coughs> excuse me, you may notice that everything's really nicely coloured. Everything's like bright, vibrant in here. What happens when we go outside? Outside, it's all black and white, bar uh, the red, and the actual building itself. This game works off uh, colour basis, um, in that 
well, the more you uh, liberate Paris, you bring back the colour to it. So in places you haven't liberated, there are only three colours. Well, it's meant to be like three main colours. Black and white is obviously like this grey. It will reach different shades of, shades of grey. Uh, red to highlight the enemies. So all the like the uh, Nazi flags, etc. And blue, as you'll see on Luke here. Luke's got like a uh, blue uh, next, uh, you know, like Ascot, like a jumper or whatever he's got underneath there. Uh, I see your man would rather die on his feet than live on his knees. And blue's kind I'd of a sign of the resistance. The Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. Five thousand barrels of precious petrol, guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first, I must know. Are you prepared to kill if necessary? We, oui, I see. These Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. So yeah, uh, it's now got it's, it's got a very um, Assassin's Creed aspect to it. This game was brought out in 2009. I believe the first Assassin's Creed was 2007. Uh, I think it runs off a very similar engine, but at the same time, it has aspects of a uh, GTA. Just, just due to the um, the the fighting aspect of it and the. Uh, Driving aspect of it. Oh crap! Yeah, it's already gone bad. Uh, so yeah, already set off an alarm. Didn't mean to. Oh dear. So as you can see, you can see the GTA GTA aspect in that the Nazis are the kind of police. At the, at the moment, that is very kind to me, and it kind of went. Actually, you've got away from it. Well, but uh, it won't get that. Won't be that kind. Um, I'm just going to drive a little bit more carefully. Really, but yeah, it's very. It handles quite well the game. It, it's for it, this. I, I always consider this game as one of those games that kind of just slipped under the radar. It was really good. I mean, I mean, I played the hell out of this game. I, you just jumped into me. But. Um, I always took this as one of those games that just kind of, it just kind of like missed a load of people, and I think a lot of people would have enjoyed it. If you're a fan of Assassin's Creed and like GTA, then yeah, this is, you, you, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't enjoy this game. So um, we've gone into a brawl situation, this is just hand to hand fighting, so we'll do it strong. And then he's beat the kick if we want to do it. Yeah, he's down. We can help out Luke. What the fuck was all that about? Uh, not now. Don't know what I was loading, man. Okay. The crates are up there, but we need to be careful. This supply cache is a restricted area. Oh, why? Was that you being careful back in the alley? I lost my tempo. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. I didn't leave a nice warm bar just to get my head blown off. If we are spotted near the crate, the Germans will attempt to sound the alarm. Then we'll have to get rid of that lookout first. Yes, you should be able to find hand and foot holds on the surface of that building. Climb up there and throw that Nazi piece of shit from the roof while I move in on the ground. Can you do that? It's a piece of piss. I do not know this phrase. It means yes. Yeah, Sean's very, uh, very sarcastic in this game, which I, which I rather like. But as you can see, you've got the, um, like the Assassin's Creed elements right here of just generally climbing, clambering, as it calls, as the game calls it. Uh, so it's very like free roam, traversal type, uh, type game. So we're just gonna walk off this guy and uh, grab him and throw him off the edge. Help me, Irishman. We allow them to sound the Didn't mean to fall off that. I'm gonna climb down, but knock him out, good. Oh he's not down. He's gonna kick in the head. Now let's see what kind of party favors these crowds brought for us. Break open those crates. Picked up dynamite. 
Those explosives will do nicely. Just remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. Okay. So you can see what I mean by it has the Assassin Creed aspect of uh, climbing and uh, just traversal. Um, it doesn't encourage you to do it, but well, it kind of does if it doesn't. It's uh, it kind of it kind of gives you the free room, free free option. Uh, norm basically the whole point of this is you are like well, the game to a saboteur. You do handle explosives and you destroy everything, basically. You're basically a one man bomb squad. In a way. So I'm not going to try and pronounce all the names of the areas of this place because I will butcher it. And um, yeah, I'll just rather not insult anyone. <laughs> we'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Oi, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman. Okay. So, we gotta blow up the fuel depot. So, first thing first, climb the building. So, climbing is a uh, bit suspicious. Um, if any of the guards see you, they'll be alerted to you and they'll kind of keep an eye on you. Uh, which, in fairness, you can make you that makes sense. If you, you know, you see a guy climbing along a building, or climbing up a building, you'd, you'd stop and look at him and think, what the hell are you up to? So, uh, Luke's placed the uh, dynamite on the truck. And he's just showing you, this is just kind of showing you how the, like, the timer works on dynamite. Okay, jump. Okay, all of them are going to look. Drop down, come on. You gonna investigate? Yep, cool. Okay, so we press free and we place the dynamite. And we run like hell. I wanna get out of here. Better keep in mind. Oh, oh, so as you can see we we destroy like the main outpost of this area. And all the colour comes back. I have to pack in my car quick. We're out of here. Pick up Luke. Get in the car. Go, go, go. So yeah, all the colours come back. It's all, uh, all lovely. Well, all we did is blow up a petrol station. You almost admit it. That fireball did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. Can you not feel it? Well, Oops. Now that you mention it, it is just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free the city from fear, house by house, and street by street. Get some rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Oh, why? If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey. Enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. I owe you a drink. Okay. So back at the bell. And this is where we live. This is our uh, our home, essentially. Uh, so... Ladies. Uh, we're gonna go through the back. Don't mind me, ladies. Just uh, just go to my room. 
which is right in the back. There we are. From what I remember as well, the girls quite like you coming into the back. They're quite fond of you, which is kind of, oh, okay, fair enough, you know. got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? Your aura is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, eh? for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. <laughs> I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up my arse. No thanks, brother. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't he wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown. So we're now three months uh, prior to, to blowing up the to fuel depot. Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to South Britain. I've marked the location on your map. Okay. So yeah, these are the. Uh, this is kind of where we. Uh, Come on, Sean, get in. Say hail yeah, from, yeah. but no, we obviously we don't. We're we're Irish. Um, We'll get in this side. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we're a driver. Or was a mechanic and now a driver. And this is our car on the back, so we're just going to uh, very carefully drive to Germany. <laughs> Which hopefully isn't far. Through the lovely uh, French countryside. This is it, my friend. After tomorrow, you'll be a famous driver, and I will be right there beside you, reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women. These German girls are crazy for racers. We'll have a dozen blonde beauties feeding us grapes, eh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jews. But there's more riding on this race than you get your hole knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheelman. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. The Tor has got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that the war could break out any minute, huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job. Very true, Jules. Very true. Um... I don't think we're that far. It seems pretty close. I just do... I can never work out the turning circle in any games. I mean, at all. I just seem to press the button and hope it turns tight enough. Meaning I always turn late. There's Here we the go. Up ahead. We're at a checkpoint. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned me leader also. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting. So this is kind of teaching you how to go through certain parts of his city um, the city is kind of is divided up uh, by the checkpoints and um, if you want to get through certain places you can just drive straight through but yourself every alarm everyone comes after you uh, if you take it slow you have to write papers you can just you know you can just go through easily the teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, you German. I'm sorry to shoot me. Veronique got the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's around. Ooh, whoops. Hey, it's not just you. 
Dagonique is tough on men in general. Why is that? One of these days, I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Dagonique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. There we go. So, the, the place where we live, the uh, the bell. Where are we going? Um, it is essentially where Jules grew up. And, uh, Ber uh, Berenique, 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 someone, the woman, her, his, his sister, uh, that's where they grew up, so, uh, that's why we live there. I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic route. You run into any trouble? Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. To Senior Morini for taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. Another round for me mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes racing is politics. No, there is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Herr Morini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. This must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. It's getting late. Why don't we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Time with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. Bastard! Oh. Right, so Jules just burst into a fight. Take out his uh, drivers. I'm taking her upstairs. There we go. Finish off. Uh... Oh, okay. Ooh, broke the table. And stay the fuck down. I don't think he can hear you. Gonna kick. Throw him. Oh, so we got one more. There's one more somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's here. He's not down. Oh, he's down. Okay. Get out of here. God damn it, Jules. Starting a fight in a Nazi pub. Ah. <sighs> German FBI. Watch it, you bloody Fuck me, Skyler. Oh, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Nailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car. Hold on to your arses. Okay, so now we uh we've got a getaway. That way. How long have you been in town? Just got in, actually. I see you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Those fellas behind us, they're just having a laugh. Is this disbroder routine meant to be a turn on? I don't know. Is it working? We 
I think we're on the racetrack. The radio ahead to set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. They teach you down your posh English school. Benefits of a higher education. Are all English girls as crazy as you are? Give us a bit of privacy, would you, Jubes? Oh, I'd love to, as soon as you shake these crowds. Okay, so we nearly lost them. Nearly lost them. Where? Lost them on the racetrack. Anyone fancy a nightcap? <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Fuck this. I'm not going to be the third wheel. Take me back to the hotel. Uh, so this is the racetrack. I didn't mean to find it. <laughs> This easily. Um, actually, that actually benefited us. So we uh, were able to lose them quite easily. Uh, we'll be coming back to this racetrack very shortly. Very shortly. Okay. Yeah, you know what's going to happen. Let's go to the hotel. game it is no matter what game it is i hate the ai of like the pedestrians they're just the worst no uh, no game that has just uh, i can't find find a game that just keep the noise down Ed. i need some fucking uh, rest come on up i'll sneak you in the back door wouldn't have it any other way okay Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years. Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules' little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So, you in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for a living. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night. Okay. And then we can all quit it all. But, um, you're probably thinking, oh, she's probably going to double cross him, etc., etc. Uh, remember what I said about the colours. Red is evil, blue is good. Where's and what colour was the scarf? Job? I don't know. She was gone when I woke up. To be honest, I feel a bit used. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Come on, let's get to the track. Okay. Okay, so now it's basically encouraging us to steal a car. Um, this will do. What do we have? Let's have, let's have one, the one with the top down. Up in I think it's the same one we had in the um, start. Okay, that's it. Come on. I did not hit him. Talk about his ass. There's insurance and whatnot. He'd be trying to consume me right now. But... Oh well. That's squeaky, this car. Oh, don't hit the car! Oh, thank God. Uh, yeah, much the same as GTA. You hit a police car in GTA, you get a, you get a wanted level. Sort of similar thing here. You hit a uh, German military car. They'll come after you. This way. And this way. There we go. Nearly that. Nice.
This is your moment, Sean. Remember what I taught you. I trained you to win. Watch your ass out there. These Nazi bastards are out for blood. Drivers to starting position. <laughs> I'll see you at the victory party. The uh, douchebag from the bar. Gentlemen, prepare to race. So now we got a race. <laughs> so, uh, I hope this goes well. I remember of this race is quite long. It's three laps, and the laps are just like massive. And from what I can remember as well, the leader, the uh, douchebag from the bar, he's always in first, and you can only kind of get past him once you get to like the third lap. Oh crap! Come on, go, 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 go. Loyal citizens, please stop by the political booth and pick up your armbands to show party support. Participation is mandatory. Okay. I said, I, it seems the turning circle gets quite a lot sharper if you just come off the accelerator, which, you know, makes sense, but. So, we've got fourth at the moment which isn't too bad you need to come first in this to actually progress in the game i believe um although i can't remember if you can come first I, I, I really don't remember much so we've got a third take a star on the inside go Yeah, they. No one here is a fan of me. No one at all. Here they come. Top of the morning, the shit. The patriotic head. heroes of the Luftwaffe, flying for the glory of the fatherland. So it's kind of like, at the moment, demonstrating all the. Kind of all the, all the uh, aspects of this game. Uh, so as you saw, you saw the Zeppelins. We will be taking out quite a few Zeppelins at some point. We are catching up on him, which is uh, good news. So we should be too much further behind him, just getting around these corners. Annoyingly, the camera doesn't kind of like stick behind you, so I'm having to move the mouse to uh, turn. And it's kind of like Causing me to lose <laughs> lose track of what I'm doing. Uh, right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right around the outside of him. That's right, I remember now. As soon as you overtake him, go scene. And I think... Does it end there, or do we have to carry on racing with like a flat tyre? No, it ends. No, Sean. I forbid Did it. Did you not see what that bastard did? The race was mine, Vittori. Don't go looking for trouble. It finds us all soon enough. It's time we went home. I'll see to the Aurora. Wait for me at the pit.
What's that? That is where the silver dart will be on display after tomorrow's ceremony. What ceremony? In honor of Joker's victory, the latest triumph of the Aryan race. How oh, bollocks. It'd be a damn shame if something were to happen to Joker's car before the big shindig. You mean some kind of freak accident? Oh, that would be terrible. Aye, tragic. Who's up for a little Sunday drive? I'm game. Where are you two going? Vittori told you to wait here. Uh, we won't be long. Jules, don't be a fool. If you want to get yourself killed, I can't stop you. But leave my family out of it. Jules is his own man. If I may chime in. It's not polite to eavesdrop. Didn't they teach you that in boarding school? Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you were too busy screwing your teachers to notice. <laughs> Please, we can't all die virgins. Brother, let's go, Jules. You're making mistakes, Sean. <laughs> when did you become the voice of prudence? Dirke isn't who you think he is. Oh, he's not a motherless arse-faced knob jockey. He's dangerous, Sean. Let it go. Thanks for the tip. We'll see you girls later. Okay. Here comes our boy. Let's find out what he's up to. So, uh, we will be following him shortly. Um, but I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, I've been doing this for about half an hour. So, when we come back, we will be going after did kill in his uh, in his car so uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you later bye bye